Hi guys, it's Monica. And Jay. And we are doing a collab. This is going to be sort of a different collaboration video. Oh, different. Oh. Different. Okay. And Jay is just my captive audience here. <laughs> Anyways, we're inside our motorhome. We are unfortunately not at an exotic location or camping along the beach, but we just returned from the beach. You mean a driveway is an exotic? I don't think so. Okay. I really don't think so. Anyways, uh, Stephanie Farrell Focus, if you're not following her, I will be sure to link her channel below, asked me about doing a collab with her. She and her husband, Steve, are into a lot of the same things that we're into, actually. Yeah, like what? Well, they have, well, they're, I think, an a step above us because oh, they have above. a photography studio oh. so they're avid photographers they're avid campers okay and they live out in California oh that's not too bad then so so they go and visit some really amazing places they take some awesome photos and they go camping a lot so she reached out to me and we started to talk about doing a collaboration about camping and you know maybe skincare maybe photography so we came up with a couple of questions and she sent five questions that her and her husband steve would like us to answer okay so i thought that was like oh okay so anyways i'm going to read the question and um you can start the answers how does that sound sound fair I haven't seen them, so go ahead. <laughs> the first question is, why did you start camping, and why do you like it? Now, is this question asking us why did we start camping when we were married or when we were little or what? No. Oh. You overcomplicate everything all the time. <laughs> so let's just start in the beginning of our lives and make it quick. Okay. I think we got into camping when we started kayaking. And we decided we'd get into camping because we'd take the kayaks out onto the islands along the main coast and then we'd pitch a tent and all that, which we have not done. But we have gone tent camping. So that's probably where it started. Well, maybe for us as a couple, that's where it started. But you had a lot of camping experience before we got together and so did I. Because you had like one of those camping buses and you went across country and you well, that's camped the, out. That's the question I asked you before and you said... Well, I thought, well, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in, well, when I was a kid, my, geez, my parents took me camping up at, up in Raymond, New Hampshire at, uh, what's the name of that campground? Raymond, Pateco. New Hampshire. Yeah, Patekaway. <laughs> <laughs> so that we, was far away for us when we lived in Massachusetts. That's true. That was far away from so Massachusetts. So we went camping when I was a little kid. And even I can remember camping, geez, when I was, we'd go down to Cape Cod, Massachusetts, when I was probably 10, 11, 12 years old, now that I think about it. And I also remember my dad had a old bread truck, and he turned that bread truck into a camper, and we'd camp on the beach down the cave, which you can't do anymore. We'd drive out on the sand, have bonfires and all that. Those were the sweet days when camping was very, very yeah. innocent and a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah. So I never camped as a little kid. My parents, you know, we didn't do any camping. But I did camp in my farmer life when my children were little. When, um, with my ex-husband, we did a lot of camping. We did a lot of tenting with a bunch of friends. So I always really liked that. So when we got together, that's exactly what we did. We started kayaking, got yeah. the tent. We bought a tent that was going to be like a wilderness type tent so we could kayak to these islands and paddle, you know, paddle out there and camp out there. We did a lot of paddling, but we never did any wilderness camping. Not like that anyways. Maybe we'll still have to do it. Maybe. And Not why our age. <laughs> why do you like it? I love the outdoors. I just um, would rather be outside than inside. Um, I just I love the smell of the fire. You know, I love being with you. Oh, why do I like it? I, for many of the same reasons. I, I do like the outdoors. I'm also very much a beach baby. I love going on the water, camping on the ocean, things of that nature. And camping was always, for me, an affordable way to be able to do that, to be able to travel and stay at the beach and all of that. And it was affordable. So that has stuck with me. So we've been, we've had amazing campsites that, were affordable because they were campsites. If we were in a hotel, they'd be four or five hundred dollars a night on some of those oh, yeah. locations. So, yeah. So we just love it because it brings us back to nature, and I can be with you. Um. Aww. <laughs> Anyways, this is the question I was really looking forward to. 
Question number two, any camping disasters? <laughs> yeah, I've had my share. <laughs> and do you want to talk about the one that might come to mind? And oh, I'll correct it's... you if you talk about the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the biggest disaster was we were headed out to Association Island in New York, and it was 4th of July weekend, and everybody had already headed out, and we were working, and we had to leave at the last minute. I remember getting new tires for this motorhome, and That's why we had to leave at the last minute, because he had to put new tires on. Yeah, I had to get the new tires, had the appointment, and then I also took it up to get the oil changed. And But anyway, and I came back, and the motorhome was running rough. To make a long story short, <laughs> what had happened when they changed the tires on it, one of the servicemen had gone underneath in the front and knocked off a valve that fluctuated the airbags in our motorhome. And I didn't realize it until we were on our way out there, and poor Monica, and your boobs were hitting her in the face. Oh, you're going to get me demonetized. <laughs> so to make a his short story long, he we were going to meet up after he got the, the motor home and all that stuff. He calls me on the phone, and he says, boy, it's riding a little rough. But it's because the tires are new. And I'm like going, oh, okay. So I continue on to the, my destination to where I'm going to meet him. He had filled up and all that. And so we had hooked up the car. And I walked to the doorway. And I thought, geez, the motorhome was looking a little low. But I didn't think anything of it. We get inside. We start our trip to New York where we're going to meet all our friends on this beautiful campground. And we're like not even five minutes pulled out of where we were. And we were we were bumping so hard that I had to really literally hold my chest. And you ladies that are, you know, endowed like I am will understand because the bouncing was really uncomfortable. And I'm going, this is not yeah. rough tires. This was something. But no, he was, oh, no, it'll be fine. It'll even out. It'll even out. And um, we continued on until we had to stop. And then we turned around, came back, and then I took it into the shop and... We couple, did make it on that camp trip, though. Yeah, a couple hundred dollars later, and I think we lost, because of the holiday, we lost a day. But We did. We lost a day and a half. Yeah. Spent a lot of money, and it was the people that had put the tires on. Somehow, when they jacked it up, they flipped the yeah, hit, air thingy. Hit. So, that was one of our disasters. We've had a few. We've had, you know... I don't know I would call them disasters. I would call them more as mishaps. We've had a number of mishaps. <laughs> Mostly his fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how often do you go camping? How often do we go? We try to go at least a couple of times a month at least. Uh, I know we have our regular 4th of July camping trips and then our uh, yearly vacation. We go 10 days up in Bar Harbor. A lot of times we'll go out to the beach, try to do long weekends. We may go out like on a Thursday night, go to work Friday, and then have the weekend, and then come home Monday. Um, so... And I agree. We try to go as often as we can in season. And we'll we'll camp right up until the end of October if the weather's nice, you know, yeah, and, just, and later, just depending. Not, not enough days in the year. Yeah, and because we both work full time, so we're weekend warriors other than our vacations, we do a lot of dry camping at the beach. Yep. So we really like it. What are your future camping plans without mentioning any dates? That one's easy. Go ahead. So the next camping plan that we have, we're going to try to go somewhere without mentioning a date, an upcoming holiday. Well, I'm not, I don't care, Memorial Day. We're going to try to go some someplace Memorial Day weekend. Um, we're not too sure where it's going to be local. It'll probably be dry camping at the beach or whatever, something like that. And then beyond that, we've got a couple of other beach things, but our big trip will be in sometime in August, let's put it that way, where we do 10 days up in Bar Harbor, Maine. Same campsite every year. We go to the same campsite. We reserve it the year before. We absolutely love it. So we camp as often as we can, and, and uh, every year we go to Bar Harbor. That's just one of the places. I think we're creatures of habit. Yeah, when you like a spot, you like to go back to it, and if you can get it year after year, you just plan for it. It's the best way to do it. So true. So the last question is, how do you keep up with your skincare routine whilst on the road? Or you just say, or do you just say the heck with it? Um, my skin? I don't know. I just, you know, I just, those masks I get, I just, they just make my beard so nice and soft. <laughs> He's uh, full of baloney. 
So in, in um, to, to seriously, to answer this question, skincare is always a balance when you're camping and you're spending a whole lot of time outdoors. I think the biggest thing for me is to make sure that I have plenty of sunblock. Our first shakeout trip that we just had, I realized, and we went to the beach, I realized I didn't bring my sunblock for my face, so that totally freaked me out. I had to go buy some, which was a real hardship, of course. I went well, into Ulta. She asked me to, to pack it, and I forgot. He did forget. So it was my fault. I should have brought it out here, but I do keep up with my skincare. It's probably a little bit more, you know, um, minim, minim, how do you say that word? Minimized? Minimized. Minimized. Thank you. So um, I don't probably do it as, you know, intense. In other words, I still do my serums. I, do, I still do my deep cleansing. I don't wear as much makeup. I don't wear as much eye makeup. I still want to look pretty. Oh, you always look pretty. Oh, thank you. You know, so even though I'm camping, I don't want to look like a total grub. There have been times, though. There have been times that we've camped that we're like total grubs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the worst time we were total grubs when we did... 10, day, 10 days bear boating the Caribbean. Remember in that boat we, ah, oh, that was an awesome vacation. But yeah, so skincare is really important to keep it up. And I think the the joy of having a motorhome like we're in our motorhome right now makes it easy for me to pack all the essentials that I really need. It's going to be different when we go tent camping, which we're planning on doing a little bit of in Canada. So that's probably our next tent trip, right, Canada? Yeah, that definitely be it. So that's coming out early on that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's sort of the answer to these questions. I don't know how long the video is. I'm hoping it's not super long. I'm really looking forward to seeing Stephanie and Steve's video and hearing their answers to these questions. And someday I really hope we get to meet. I'd love to go to California. I'd love to do a camp out with Stephanie. And I'm sure you would love to really dig into Steve's photography equipment. Yeah. Actually, they're both super super photographers they really are I wonder do they have canon or nikon do you know oh i don't know are you canon people or a nikon people could Stephanie? be sony could be sony no i don't think so for some reason i'm thinking she's got a canon i think they've got a 70d or something or probably better than that but i think i think she's mentioned that before ah. so i'm thinking they're canon people so they probably have nice lenses that we should use and stuff like that definitely <laughs> i mean his camera bag alone I mean, you know, I'll have to show you some more of the videos so you can see where there were recent adventures and the camera gear he carried around. Your battery light's flashing. <gasps> oh, that must mean I, I'm going to lose go. my battery. So Time before it shuts me off. <laughs> bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Stephanie's channel. I'm going to link it below. And Stephanie, Steve, thank you for asking us to do this collab. It is actually a lot of fun thinking about the answers to these questions. Bye, guys. See you later. Ciao. Cheer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy camping. <laughs>